Hello folks, I'm Anticio Duke and I want to thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about the concept of why some ideas, products, and services actually catch on and, well, become contagious. Stay tuned for more. Uh, this week we're going to talk about how things spread on or spread or catch on. Um, and the, the book of this week is actually called Contagious, written by Jonah Berger. And he basically writes this book with a six-step uh, principle that gives any idea, products, or services a little traction. So we'll touch base on those now. Um, he breaks those six steps down into an acronym that he calls STEPS. The first one is social currency. So ideally, as human beings, we share things that make us look good. So we always want to look good in front of our peers or families, friends, um, in a lot of different areas, in a lot of different ways, and for a lot of different reasons. So if it makes us look good, we're more likely to share. The second principle is called triggers. You've heard the old adage of out of sight, out of mind. Well, this is the opposite. If it's on the top of the mind, it's on the tip of the tongue. What, which means if you're thinking about something, if it's relevant, if it's fresh, if it's bouncing around in your brain often enough, you're more likely to talk about that and share it as well because it's relevant. Um, so if, if something is bothering you, if it's fresh and it's pertinent, or if it's related to something you're passionate about and it's always festering in your mind, you're going to talk about it no matter what. So, Number three, we're going to talk about emotion. So when you open your email address, you get posts from friends. It's usually one or two extremes. You're either pissed off at the post or you're extremely happy, right? Kittens, babies, um, something about racism, right? There's these extreme um, emotional conditions. So when we care, we share. It doesn't matter which extremity it is. When you care about something or it brings about an emotion, you're more likely to share that as well. Um, the first P and the steps sort of uh, principle is uh, public. If it's built to show, it's built to grow. So if it's designed for public consumption um, and mass media, then it's more likely to be spread. Why? Because people can digest that information. People can interpret it in whatever manner they want because it's designed that way. So just remember that. If it's if you can show it or share it publicly, more than likely it's gonna gain some traction. The fifth step and the second P in the six steps principle is called practical value, right? So um, if it's news or something that we can use, we're more likely to share. So I have a friend that says, hey, you got a bag of lemons. If you cut them up and put some water together and a little sugar or something, you can make lemonade, right? Make lemonade out of lemons. Or I have another one who says, uh, hey, you got any uh, holes or damages in anything? You can fix it with duct tape. Yay. I'll have you know you can pretty much fix anything with duct tape. But the idea is, is this. If I can do that, I can literally go home and wrap a water hose that's been punctured with duct tape and it works, I'm more than likely to share it because it's practical value. Someone else can use that knowledge. So that's number five on the six step principle. And lastly, it's stories. The big S for stories. We love stories as human beings, as social creatures. We love, love stories. When your friends tell great stories, when you hear a good story, when you read a good story, when you see music videos that tell a good story, we absolutely consume it, we love it. So good stories make for good experiences and good discussions because they bring about sort of all of those elements all in one. So that's all I got. Um, so again, those are the six steps, six principles that Jonah has written in this book called Contagious. Great book, um, a medium sized book at that. So you could probably read it in the weekend, but if you have other time commitments, I suggest take it a little slower. You could probably get through it in a week. But uh, definitely six good tools, uh, six dif different principles that can help you or anyone else. Um, your idea, your services, or, or anything else uh, catch on or spread and become contagious to others. So 
If you got anything out of this video, please like, share, maybe subscribe a little bit. I'll be going through a few other books. Um, as I finish them, I will post my reviews on them as well, as usual. <laughs> so, just so you know, to know more is to grow more, and to learn more is to earn more. So, continue learning. That's all I got. Peace. They say smiles are contagious too. You getting that? I'll have you know, hugs are contagious. Where's the love?